Hey designer Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to explore this card border hover effect. So when I hover you can see that the border disappears and then appears from this corner and we are also going to show this logo, the background of a card is going to change the color and we are also going to move this arrow down below and as you can see from this one card we are going to create these duplicates so basically to cover all of the major online payments at the moment and of course you can double these to be the actual cards for example Visa, Mastercard, uh, Dyna Business Card, American Express and stuff like like that so basically that's what we're going to cover in today's video so without any further ado let's get started All right, so here is the practice file we're going to use in today's tutorial, but before we get started, if you want to get this practice file, you can join my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of the practice files for these YouTube videos, including 30 different courses which I created so far, and 500 plus digital design products, you are getting access to all of it. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again. A link is going to be down in the description below to access my membership. So this is the practice file for today's tutorial. And as you can see, we just have a few colors here and there, character styles, and we have few components. I purposely kept things really simple because I think users don't want to be distracted once they want to make a payment because obviously payment is one of the most important processes uh, in the entire purchasing uh, experience so to get started I'm going to jump straight in so what I have right here is just a robot of text because as I said I didn't want to make things too complicated and of course you can get these logos in this practice file if you join my membership once again or you can simply go to Wikimedia Commons and locate these logos if you want to use them like this so if I open up this card you can see that this is the default card and basically a parent component and these are child components from this particular card so uh, before I actually jump inside I want to show you this so we have 1920 by 1080 R ports and I have a background uh, of this nice subtle gradient it goes from darker here to lighter here and basically that's it for the background just to make these cards stand out a little bit more so what we have for each of these cards is default state and hover state so for this uh, major and master card basically so parent component what we have inside is this structure so here you can see if I zoom all the way in we have the card outline which is basically this outline and here we have the border we, you can see that the border struck width is three points dash is zero and gap is 1740 so if I increase this to 1740 as well and press enter you can see how that looks like so basically we are removing these dashes and inside of the hover state we are going to include these dashes back into it so that's why on dash we have zero also crucially you can change in a stroke to be dot on the outside to be dot uh, in the inside and to be dot in the center you can also change how these caps look like and you can of course change how these joints look like and that's going to give you a little bit different result than what I'm going to show you in this tutorial so you can play around with that if you want to other than that it's really quite simple so I just have um, expired date right here I have my icons and I just drag and drop to swap these icons later when I change from Amazon to Apple to Google then we have the main text in the center we have web mobile and finally we have this right arrow right here which on hover is going to move 20 pixels to the right then if I show you my card outline once again you can see that uh, here I have completely white color so FFF and then if we switch to hover what change here with the color is we now have this f5 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 and let me actually select this color and add it right here just so it's much easier for you guys if you get this practice file then text didn't change at all but as i mentioned this right arrow simply moved 20 pixels to the right and now we have this logo so the whole point of this logo if i switch back to the original state 
is we have the card outline so I just copied this and let me bring it to a hundred percent so you can see it so basically I just copied the card outline that we have right here and I used it for my mask then I have my logo and I simply moved it down a little bit so it's basically out of the way and just create some kind of visual interest and then I simply masked it then my logo itself is lowered down to four uh, four percent so if i increase it back to 100 you can see how it looks like so 0 0.4 percent it gives it this nice visual interest then once you put it in a mask i simply lowered that mask down to zero percent and inside of the hover state i simply increased my mask back to 100 percent while still keeping this original icon down at four percent that's basically it that's how I created all of these and it's basically exactly the same for all of these I just simply went ahead and changed the information at the top so 0 0.6 0 0.4 25 24 28 so just to make it a little bit different then we have web and mobile which is where this available uh, where this is available and this these two are available and both web tablet and mobile you can of course include uh, different icons here but I didn't want to I just wanted to purposely keep things as simple as possible then when I launch my prototype you can see how it looks like so oops, sorry it went back on me so I simply included this dash back in and now we have this outline and I simply copied that effect right here and you can see when you simply change these logos at the top and in the center you can see you're getting a completely different view what we can also do is change the color of these cards to make them even different so how you can do that is you can jump into hover state for each of these and for example for this one card outline I can simply change my color to be a little bit darker or to be something like this so really completely different and let's do the same for this one so if I jump in right here and change it to I don't know this super simple pink color and then jump in all the way to here perhaps something like this might do so let's change them back to default state then hit preview here we have the same one and here we have this different one so if you're into a look like this of course you can even include the gradient inside you can give it uh, this glass morphism effect which is trendy at the moment to really make these cards stand out even more if you want to but basically that's it for this uh, tutorial just remember if I go back to here so card outline whatever you set right here for your border so my border size is three so quite wide if you set it to one these values are going to be smaller and uh, less so so if you set it to five it's going to be even bigger and once again you're going to get different results when you play around with these settings right here so make sure to check out the project file once again link is going to be in the description below if you want to access it i really hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure to subscribe and to leave a like so other designers can find it as well and i really hope to see you in my next tutorial as well i upload new videos every single week on adobe xd design passive income techniques motivation and more so if you like content like that make sure to check it out make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care